Hi everyone, today I am doing a tutorial for this shimmery brown eye makeup paired with a neutral lip. It's a very neutral look, I've used all very uh, earth tone shades but it's something that is a little glamorous because of the slightly smoky eye. I'm going to start with foundation, I'm using this one from Derma Color. this is the Camouflage Cream. It's a really thick and hard cream so it needs a bit of work to blend. What I'm doing is applying a bit of it with a cotton bud onto my face and then using a Real Techniques Miracle Sponge to blend it out. Even though it's a bit difficult to blend, it's actually a really good foundation if you're looking for something really high coverage. It's very pigmented so you need a small amount, you don't need to apply a ton of it. And once you blend it out, it just makes your skin look really flawless, it covers up the pigmentation really well. A lot of makeup artists use this uh, for bridal makeup etc. It's quite inexpensive, it comes in lots of different shades and I found this in a shop that sells Cryolan makeup in Mumbai. I think it's called Beauty Palace and it is in Andheri. I have the shade D65 and this retails only for 350 rupees. Uh, the quantity is quite less, it's only 4ml but then you need a really tiny amount because it's really pigmented so even that 4ml tiny jar is going to last you a long time. Next I'm going to start with my eye makeup. I'm using this eyeshadow pencil from Milani. You can use any brown eyeliner for doing this step. Lacme is Forever Silk Eyeliner in the shade Earthline is very similar to this. So what I'm doing is creating a brown base all over my lid on top of which I'm going to apply the shimmery brown eyeshadow. After applying the brown color all over the lid, I'm using a blending brush. This is the MAC 217 just uh, to soften up the edges a little bit. Next, I'm going to take a medium brown eyeshadow. This is the shade Frappe by Makeup Geek. It's a matte brown color with a slight orange undertone and I'm using this in the crease line. You can use any medium matte brown eyeshadow for this look. You just want a nice transition from that dark uh, brown color on the lid to your skin tone. Once again, I have used the MAC 217 brush for this step. It's absolutely my favorite brush when it comes to eye makeup. It's a little expensive. I bought two of these and each was 1700 I believe now the price is 1800 But I've had them for many years and they're absolutely perfectly in the same condition that I bought them in. Next, I'm using that same brown eyeshadow pencil from Milani that I used on the lid. And I'm using the same thing on my waterline. It doesn't sting or anything. It's perfectly safe for the waterline. You can use whichever liner or pencil you used uh, on your lid for this step. And using a cotton bud, I'm just smudging and smoking out that liner onto the lower lash line. Then I'm using the same eyeshadow, Makeup Geek Frappe that I used in the crease line along the lower lash line as well. And the brush I'm using here is an angled brush from Sephora. Next I'm going to take a shimmery dark chocolate color. This is from Essence and this is the Metal Glam eyeshadow by Essence and the shade is Choco Chic. And I'm just using my finger to pat that color on the lid. It's got some nice uh, brown shimmer. It's not very metallic. It's just sort of an in-between a satin and a metallic color. And it just adds a little bit of nice sparkle to the eye. Essence is available online in India on Flipkart.com as well as on Amazon. You can also use the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Endless Chocolate for this look. It's a very similar color. And after patting that color on the lid, I'm once again going in with a blending brush just to make sure that everything is smoothly blended and there are no harsh edges. You can also apply a bit of that metallic brown eyeshadow along the lower lash line as well. To highlight, I'm using this reflective gold pigment from Makeup Forever. 
just patting a little bit of it in the inner corner and along the brow bone this is a really pretty highlight color for indian skin because it has a very warm golden reflection and you can just use your finger if you want to blend out that highlight color a little bit Next I'm going to apply a mascara and I'm using the Big Eyes Mascara from Maybelline. I'm using the wand meant for the top lashes and I'm applying a single coat on the top lashes. And then I'm going to apply a pair of false eyelashes. This is the number 43 lashes from Red Cherry. These are really pretty, beautifully flared at the outer end that really helps lift up my eyes because I've got slightly droopy eyes. I'm now filling in my brows using the Shiseido Eyebrow Styling Compact in the shade Medium Brown. I have pretty full brows but I do have a few gaps here and there so I just use this brow powder to fill in those gaps. I'm then going in with a bit of black liquid liner just to cover up any uh, visible patches of eyelash glue that I've used. I'm not doing a thick line, I'm just doing a very thin line along the base of the false lashes. Next I'm going to apply concealer. I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. This is slightly lighter for my skin so it works really well as a highlighting concealer. And this will just brighten up my eye area and not let that smoky eye give a dull look to my eyes. I'm using the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge to blend this as well. But for the inner corner, I'm just going in with my finger. This is a really creamy concealer. It blends really well. It's got pretty high coverage. I won't say it's a full coverage concealer, but it's somewhere between medium to full coverage. And after you've done your concealer, you'd want to go back with a cotton bud just to make sure there are no harsh edges and the brown liner looks smudged and smoky. I'm now applying uh, mascara on my lower lashes. I'm using the lower lash wand from the Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara. It's a really thin wand so it's really easy to reach the smaller corner lashes. Just setting my concealer with a bit of powder. I'm using the Lacme Absolute Face Stylist Compact and the shade I'm using is Rose Fair. Even if you have dry skin, you should set your concealer and your T-zone with a little bit of sheer powder. That will just help uh, your concealer and foundation stay in place. Next, I'm going to use a highlighter for the cheeks and I'm using this one from Color Bar. It comes in a pen form and it has a brush on one end and a button which you can click to squeeze out product from the other end. You can see it's really pretty highlighter instantly. There's a shine on my um, upper cheekbones. Just gives that instant glow and it's really easy to blend as well because it's in a liquid form. I'm also applying a tiny bit of this on the cupid's bow which is like the center part of your upper lip and this will just give a fuller look to the lips. To contour my cheeks, I'm using the Sleek Contour Kit in Medium. I'm using the darker powder under my cheekbones. Make sure to use a very tiny amount of product because this is really pigmented and I think in my last tutorial I went a little overboard and that ended up giving a slightly muddy look to the cheeks. But when you use a tiny amount of product and blend it well, it gives a really natural looking contour. I'm also using this to contour my jawline and the brush I've used here is an angled blush brush from Coastal Scents. This is part of the 16 piece pearl brush kit and it's really handy for applying uh, contouring products. Coming to the blush I'm using Rose Gold by Sleek. It's a really pretty shimmery peachy coral kind of color very similar to NARS Orgasm. It's got that golden shine that just adds a nice glow to the cheeks. It doesn't add a lot of color to my complexion uh, but I quite like how it adds a bit of glow and a very natural hint of color. And because I've done a slightly stronger eye I didn't want a very strong cheek and this just fits the bill perfectly. For the lips, I'm going to use a neutral lip liner. This is Spice by MAC and it's a peachy brown color. It's a few shades darker than my complexion but it's got that peachy tone so it doesn't look too brown or too dark. You can also use something like Lacme's Brick Rose or the shade Toffee by L'Oreal Paris. 
I've used this lip liner to fill in my lips entirely and then I'm going to use a lip gloss. This is the shade Lolita from the L'Oreal Paris uh, Shine Caress range. It's a really nice lightweight gloss and the peachy nude color makes it really excellent for pairing with any kind of warm eye makeup and it stays quite long as well and it feels really hydrating too. So this is the finished look. This is a really classic look that will look nice on a lot of people. You just have to choose colors that flatter your complexion. If you're lighter in uh, complexion, use a lighter lip color. If you're deeper in complexion, use something a little darker. Choose a color that flatters your complexion. And this is a look that you can wear for so many different occasions. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you like this, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with another video very soon. Bye.